What's up you guys? It is Friday and we're about to start heading out on our trip tomorrow but it is the beginning of our four day weekend so I did want to vlog and take you guys on this trip with us just have a little change up in the vlogs. Still always gonna be doing my weight loss journey vlogs but I also wanna show you guys a little bit of my life when I'm not working out. With that being said, today we have planned to go eat breakfast. After that, we're gonna be coming home, packing, making sure we have everything ready to go. And then later on in the night, we're gonna actually go out with my sister. I'm looking for some Bucci's glasses. Hopefully I find some like that or at least along those lines. I've been vacuuming a little as you can see there all over the house. I'm trying to get the house a little bit ready so that we don't just leave like that. Don't worry about my Nala. She's in good hands. My sister um, next door, she's going to be helping taking care of her. She's going to come check in on her every day and feed her and all that good stuff like the amazing Thea she is. <laughs> I'm also trying to edit as much as I can. I'm striving to get this the last video out. I'm going to do my makeup a little bit and then we'll head out. We ended up going to Red Robin's and I got this spicy chicken sandwich that was super delicious and he got a different type of spicy sandwich. He was ready to eat it. Did finish packing, my boyfriend finished packing. I am right now currently editing my video, doing all the voiceover. We're gonna go to the Santa Fe Spring swap me tonight. Um, I'm in the search for some Bucci's glasses and I'm going to be showing you guys what I mean by that. I'm trying to get some like these for next week. I'm going to be using them for my best friend's birthday. But I also wanted to add them to my collection of sunglasses. So hopefully we're going to find some tonight. So this is us getting into the swap meet. And you guys, we had no idea that there was going to be a tribute band playing. And it was a no doubt tribute band, which was so awesome to listen to. So we were so happy to be there. I can't show you guys too much because I don't want to get copyrighted. But here's a three second clip. I had half of this beer and we enjoyed the night. I had a burrito bowl that they had here at their food courts for dinner. And then we walked around and saw so many cool things around the swap meet. I'm super tired and I'm ready to go to bed. Andy's gonna fill up the tank right now. Um, so that we're ready to go in the morning but i wanted to show you guys at my haul really fast so i got some lashes these are the art Ooh. these are the ardell lashes this is uh 422 i found my bucci's glasses that's just what i'm calling them um they're like big um and i'm gonna put little rhinestones on the side right here so that they look more bucci's second give me a second they came in a little bag isn't this so cute so cute. These are the rhinestones I got. I got a gold septum to replace this one. And then a lip liner, which I don't know if you could tell, but I already tried. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So we left early Saturday morning and we caught zero traffic on the way. We thought there was going to be way more traffic, which is why we wanted to leave early. Um, but we ended up getting there earlier than expected. So we're at a stop. We stopped at a gas station because I had to use the restroom. It's early in the morning, okay? So this is us crossing the border to Tijuana. And as you guys can see, I am recording the whole way there. But I did the mistake of recording during this clip where you'll see two freeway exits. We had to take the one to the right. And since I was recording this video, I didn't get to see the GPS. And we went to the one on the left. And that totally messed us up. We lost our way, but eventually we found our way back and headed straight to the hotel that we were supposed to check into. Um, they were not doing early uh, entrance to the room. It was around, I want to say, 9.50ish, almost 10 when we got there. So since we couldn't go in and we had to wait till 3, which was check-in time, we went out to explore this abandoned hotel that was actually right next to the one that we were supposed to stay at. Now, I want to explain something as you guys are enjoying these beautiful views. To the right, you can see this beautiful hotel, which is the one we were supposed to stay at. Um, but there was a mix-up. I did not realize that I had made reservations for the same hotel, but in Panama. Yes, Panama. I made the wrong reservations, and we were already there. I felt so, so bad. It was the craziest day. We were trying to find um, a hotel that would take us in that day. A lot of things were super expensive because it was the same weekend. Plus, it was a Saturday. 
Um, so we were lucky to have found the hotel that we did find. Um, but unfortunately, we didn't get to stay at this beautiful hotel. continued exploring this abandoned hotel for a while um, but as you're seeing these clips just keep in mind that this was all before we found out that the hotel room that we thought we were gonna stay at was not gonna be the one we were going to get so we just continued exploring and then afterwards we headed into the centro of Rosarito we had an eight, so we stumbled across this beautiful restaurant called El Nido. And you guys, it was the most amazing experience that I've had in a restaurant in forever. Everything about it, from the music to the service to the food to the aesthetics, was just 1000% everything that I was hoping it would be. Cheers. Damn. As you guys can see, the food was so delicious. I had a pepino drink and then we walked around El Centro for a good while, taking in all the beautiful sights. And then we stumbled across this really cool bar like outside. It had swings and we decided to sit there and drink a little bit. We had a lot of time to kill, which again, we didn't know that we weren't going to get the room. Um, so I had this piña colada and honestly, it was the best one that I had this weekend. It was so freaking good. Here's a little clip that he took of me out there. We did some more sightseeing, but it very much was the peak of the heat at this moment. So we ended up taking a seat at this nearby bench that had beautiful views and Andy wanted to take a little video of me. So here's what that was. And then we found a neveria nearby. I had this gancito, small ice cream. It was so, so delicious. We got some cool little bracelets to commemorate our little Rosarito trip. And then we walked nearby and found like an empty bar slash club, which you can tell gets popping at night. <laughs> but during the day, it was completely empty. We made it. Um, we're still waiting for our hotel. We had breakfast and then we walked around. We had a few drinks and it was also good. Super cheap too. And so now we're at another bar. It's pretty empty in here. As you, as you can see, I'm alone in the restroom. Uh, we're just gonna grab maybe another drink, just wait it out because our check in is until 3 and it's like 12 30 right now, so almost there. So, after these clips was when everything went to shit and we had to search for a new hotel. So, fast forward, this is us now already checked into our hotel we were super hungry so we ended up just walking to an applebee's that was right next to the hotel so this is us getting in this is a little clip of me in the restroom checking in after i got to the hotel and showered and this was our food i had the fajitas chicken fajitas and they were so good okay so we've had the craziest day um we waited till three we went to the hotel and turned out i got the wrong reservations i freaking made reservations for the same hotel but in panama why i didn't double check i totally messed that up i usually don't do that but i don't know anyways after a crazy day we finally found a hotel that had a room available for us it was definitely more expensive because i didn't get it before but that's okay, at least we get a place to rest. I'm super tired, I don't know if y'all can tell. My eye bags are bagging. Uh, um, we got into the room finally. I showered, put up my stuff away. Um, and then we went to Applebee's. There's an Applebee's here and I got these chicken fajitas. So, so good. And then we walked to Walmart. We got a couple drinks and stuff for the room. Um, and then we walked back and um, I went out and take a quick nap. I'm gonna wake up later and see how we're feeling to see what we're gonna do. So I'll check in soon. We're awake, we're about to get ready. 
And that's exactly what we did. Um, as soon as we woke up, I just started getting ready because it was later in the night already. Wanted to get out there already. And so I got ready. And this was the first outfit I chose. I was not feeling it. And then the second outfit I also chose, I was also not feeling. I ended up coming back to change. I'm not gonna lie, you guys. I'm honestly pretty tired. We barely got any rest in. Um, and we're about to go out. So I don't know how I'm gonna last. I freaking want to knock out right now. Um, but I do want to go out tonight just because it's Saturday. Everything's popping and I don't want to do this tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be like our chill all day type of thing. So, um, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. This is the outfit that I did end up wearing. We ended up going to a karaoke bar club. It was such good vibes. Everybody was dancing and my boyfriend bought me some flowers. We drank a few beers and it was a really fun night. So it's 12.30 and my boo got me some flowers at the bar we were at. The next morning before I even could get a chance to open my eyes, my boyfriend postmated McDonald's and he was so excited because it was only like $11 for both of us. Um, and it came with this salsa de chile jalapeño, which was actually surprisingly really good. I would have loved to have that here in the US. Anyways, I was getting ready for the day here and I'll show you guys my outfit in a second. This is the outfit. I was really excited to wear this skirt. I wanted to wear it really badly this trip. I thought it was super fitting for the vibe. And then this is the up close. I did my makeup pretty quick, but I thought it came out super cute and the jewelry added a lot to it. Once we were ready, we headed out for the day. This is just a cute little few clips of us. And then we found like a it kind of looked like a pop-up bar while we were walking around the same centro that we hadn't seen the day before. It was long slurpees that we filled with piña colada. Again, the girls yesterday was a lot better than this bar's, but it was really good. We had to finish as much as we could and throw it away because we ate here at Papa's and Beer. This chicken taco was so delicious. I had to save the other, which we didn't even end up eating, but it was so freaking good. I couldn't finish. A whole other one after that it got pretty hot so we ended up going back to the room to enjoy the pool which was super warm and we had a lot of fun in there I got to lay on these really nice pool chairs and get a little bit of those sun rays in on my skin and then eventually we got to get in. We had the pool all to ourselves for a few minutes before family came out but it was really nice while it lasted. I felt super self-conscious in my two-piece. I have not worn one in forever so it was kind of out of my comfort zone but I enjoyed myself a lot. walked to their outlet mall which was really nice to see all the stores and we walked all the way to Walmart to stock up on some waters since we didn't have any more and then we had the most romantic date night back at El Nido restaurant because we wanted to see what it was like for dinner and oh, it blew my mind I cannot stop thinking about how amazing and perfect this restaurant was I'm gonna stop blabbing for the next few seconds so you guys can really intake the beauty of this place This was most definitely my favorite part of the trip, but all good things must come to an end. So uh, we finished up the night and headed back to the hotel. All right, y'all, so this was the fit tonight. I was kind of a little bummy because after the 
pool. Um, we took a nap. I was super, super tired. It's a vacation if you can't take some time to sleep, so. So we napped. We ended up going to El Nido again to eat. And guys, that restaurant has my entire, entire heart. Everything about it is so beautiful and I highly, highly recommend you guys check it out if you're ever in this area. Everything from the music to the decor to the food is just spectacular. So it's safe to say we really enjoyed ourselves this weekend. Um, but I'm super ready to go back home to my baby Nala and get back into the routine of things So tomorrow I want to try to wake up and hit the gym here at the hotel Just because I do have to start filming for my weight loss journey vlog number 10 and I want to be on track with that So yeah, I've been trying to eat as healthy as possible throughout the weekend um, getting anything with like chicken and stuff like that, but it has been hard <laughs> But I also have wanted to enjoy myself with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and start packing everything up so in the morning we can just do what we gotta do. I'll go to the gym shower and get get out of here pretty much. So yeah, see you later. So the next morning I did exactly that. This was the outfit to go work out. I was feeling very confident. So this is everything that is in the gym. This is me. I'm gonna take off my shirt just because um, I want to get it dirty, I want to wear it after. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this here, I'm gonna put my phone here. Oh, and yeah, let's get this workout started. So I did have the little gym all to myself uh, for the beginning of my workout, and as you can see, I was doing push ups, and in the middle of it, some guy came in and started working out as well. I felt immediately self-conscious i put on my shirt and i didn't get to record all of the workouts that i did it was super quiet in there super awkward so i didn't want to make it that much more awkward that's probably the awkwardest workout of my life of course, I had to get some fruit from the free uh, complimentary breakfast from our hotel and it came with these two little tiny breads that I loved. I had half of the fruit and my boyfriend had the other half and then as we were crossing back to the border, we saw a bunch of stands on the way there. It was actually pretty amazing to me how many stands there were and how many things they were selling on the way out. If I had had extra cash, I definitely would have bought something. After crossing the border, we actually stopped around San Diego for breakfast and then headed back home, finally, to my cat and to our humble abode. We got home around, I want to say, almost 2 p.m. home and gave Nala a bunch of love and cuddles and kisses and playtime and catnip and she ended up sleeping everywhere that we would go or she was following me everywhere and knocked out as if she hadn't slept in years. <laughs> now I didn't get to film an outro the way I had planned so I'm gonna say bye here you guys. I hope you have a great one. I will see you in the next one and don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.